Okay. Here we have two pedals. This one is a germanium fuzz face. Basically, fairly standard fuzz face schematic with NTE-103 transistors. This is a pedal that has a... Um, it's basically a preamp feeding a uh, wave shaper. Uh, the schematic of the wave shaper I found on the CGS synth website. Um, I want to say that it was called the Lockhart Wave Folder, perhaps. Um, the schematic for the that is on the CGS synth website. The uh, preamp is on page 87 of um, a book I found at Half Price Books called The Encyclopedia of Electronic Circuits, Volume 1 by Rudolf Graf. Um, that preamp is not too different from uh, the, the, the preamp you'll find on Jack Orman's website using two JFETs. Um, but this one's a little thinner sounding probably based on what I've seen of that one. Anyway, um, the Wave Shaper actually works surprisingly well for guitar. Uh, let's see what it does just by itself. No other pedal. That is a uh, fairly high gain on the preamp. Uh, the blend is set directly in the middle between the triangle and square wave sections, though those probably don't really produce that when fed with a guitar signal. I think it's meant to see a sine wave first. Um, there's a cut knob to cut the treble if it's too high endy. Let's try that. <laughs> It's like half triangle, half square wave with the cut function on. Let's go to all triangle. Hey. Putting the high end back in. shape with a little bit of fuzz face. square wave side of the blend knob. That's with the cut function on. Ah, sometimes when using the high end cut you gotta crank up the gain a little. Side of this, let's put the fuzz on.
also, for good measure, if anybody wants to hear it, here's the fuzz face fight by itself. Um, the room I'm in, I tend to pick up a little bit of radio, but I blame it more on the amp than anything.